looking for a delicious way to get in more protein? Stay tuned. Hi, my name is Katrina. Welcome to the Organics channel, where we really believe that health is your greatest wealth. And it really all starts in the kitchen. Today we're going to be making a chai spiced orange muffin. In a large mixing bowl, add three cups of almond flour, which is simply made out of ground almonds, so it's high in protein and a great gluten-free flour. One quarter of a cup of Lakanto, or your favorite sweetener. So Lakanto is made out of urethritol and monk fruit extract. It's a really great low glycemic sweetener, but certainly use which sweetener works best for you. One teaspoon of aluminum free baking soda. One quarter of a teaspoon of either pink Himalayan or sea salt. Both are rich in trace minerals. One tablespoon of orange zest. You wanna be sure to use an organic orange so you're not getting any of those pesticides inside of your recipe. And oranges, including their peel, are really high in vitamin C, which is your immune system's best friend. One scoop of our organic vanilla bone broth powder or your favorite protein powder. So bone broth is super beneficial for maintaining a healthy gut. And what I love about ours is that it's organic and it's only sweetened with monk fruit and stevia. So it can support a low glycemic diet. Last, let's add in the chai spices. So I've got one and a half teaspoons of Ceylon cinnamon, one teaspoon of cardamom, and one half of a teaspoon of ginger. Whisk together your dry ingredients. Three large eggs, and can you see how deep of a color these yolks are? The way to tell if it was a happy hen that laid your eggs is to look and see how deep of an orange color your yolks are. And I always recommend, if possible, to look for pasture-raised, organic, and local is even better. These look amazing. One quarter of a cup of freshly squeezed orange juice. So if you're sensitive to sugar, you still may be okay with this recipe because this quarter of a cup is divided into 12 different muffins, and that equates to about one teaspoon of juice per muffin. Last, for flavor, let's add in one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. Whisk together your wet ingredients really well. Add your wet ingredients to your dry ingredients and mix together. In either paper-lined or greased muffin tins, scoop out your batter evenly. Bake your muffins in a 350 degree preheated oven for 16 to 18 minutes and you'll know when your muffins are done when you insert a toothpick in the middle and it comes out clean. Okay, let's give these muffins a taste. They are super delicious. They're really moist, which I like that about them. You can taste the orange. They're not super, super sweet. So if you're looking for a sweeter muffin, go ahead and increase your sweetener by just a little bit. Or you could make a really fun orange glaze to put on top. These are really nice. It's a great way to get in a little bit more protein. Maybe give it to your kids if they're not eating so good right now. Definitely give these a try and let me know how it goes for you. Thanks so much for joining me today. Be sure to subscribe because I'm here every week with a new delicious recipe to help keep you inspired in the kitchen. I'll see you next week.